dry skin who? Dry skin what? I don't even know what that looks like. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it's all about the dry textured skin. That is my life. I have had to deal with this type of skin for many years and I am still dealing with it. I have old acne scarring so there's like texture. Over time I've accumulated so many tips and tricks to make my skin look better, look more dewy, radiant, and just smooth. And a special thank you to Clinique for sponsoring this video. They have one of the best foundations for dry skin and you guys are gonna love it. Also I'm gonna be sharing with you the best foundation to use for this type of skin. This one, this one is upside down. <laughs> I'm actually going to use this. This is from Clinique. It's one of my favorite, favorite foundations for dry textured skin. It's just one of the best. If you wanna get into this video and see how you can make your skin go from dry and just rough to smooth, flawless, and radiant, then keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad fam. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so first thing I wanna tell you about is to mask your face the night before. I think this is super important and not an exfoliating mask because that just makes things worse. I would use a very intense hydrating mask. It's usually called a sleeping mask and you wear that the entire night, you wake up, wash it off. Sometimes you don't even have to wash it off, it just sinks into your skin and it will feel like baby smooth skin. Right now, I feel like this is the perfect time to do this video because my skin is so freaking dry. Do you see this? It is so dry, my lips are dry, it's bad. One of my favorite sleeping masks is this one right here. This is from Belief, it's the Aqua Balm sleeping mask and I just put it on all over the face. It's like a jelly kind of a texture. You can see like I've used this 20 times. No joke, it lasts for such a long time and I think this is like a sample version. But after you apply like your moisturizer at night, then you apply a thin layer of this all over and just sleep with it. I wake up, wash my face, and my skin feels so much better. Okay, so now we're on to the actual day of doing the makeup. My most favorite daytime hydration moisturizer is this one right here from Clinique. It's Clinique Smart, and this has an SPF of 15. I really, really love this. Obviously, I'm almost done with it. It leaves your skin feeling and looking so radiant, so supple and smooth. I can't tell you how glowing you're gonna look just with this moisturizer. I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna put it on my my face and I just do a thin layer of this. So as you can see already, my skin looks a lot more glowing just with the moisturizer. Once that's like set into my skin, then I go ahead and put on an oil before I start my makeup routine. My favorite oil to use is the Nurse Jamie EGF Platinum 3. This is kind of pricey. I'm just gonna let you guys know that right now, but it is very, very worth it. There's some products that you just can't, that you just have to splurge on because it's gonna make your skin better in the long run. So it comes in this little tube like this and you just do this. I mean, you don't have to do this. I kind of do this just for fun. But I mean, you can put it in your hands and then work it into your face before your makeup. This is, oh my God, I can't even begin to tell you how hydrated my skin feels after this. It feels like it just drank 30 gallons of water and it looks so much better. Okay, so now that I have my moisturizer on, so now that my skin is ultra hydrated, it is ready for the makeup base. So after all of this has set in, then I go in with a really good Primer. For the primer, I am using the J1 Jelly Pack Primer. This one is a primer, hydrating, firming, and smoothing type of a product, which is great because I have uneven layers of skin. Like right here, it's like little divots in my skin everywhere. It's just not very pleasant to put makeup on top of. So something that's going to smooth your skin out and hydrate at the same time, firm and plump, Perfect, and I, I love this one. I love the red one as well, but I really love the white one for my super dry days. And the good thing about this is that it is more of a tacky formula, so the foundation is going to stick to the skin. You don't have to worry about it coming off later. So you'll still have that nice flawless coverage throughout the day with this one. Before we put on foundation, I'd go in with another primer. This primer is professional, but I'm just gonna put on a little bit. And with this type of primer, it's a pore filling primer. If you have large pores, best friends forever, promise you. What I'm gonna do with this is press it into my skin. So I'm gonna press it into my T-zone. This is where my pores are large and in charge. Tap it in like this, all over the nose, so it's 
filling in that texture and smoothing it out even more. But even without makeup, you can tell my skin just looks so much healthier and glowier, just better than what it was before when I started this video. Like rewind back to the beginning and then now, like there's a huge difference. Okay, so now we're getting into the foundation and the foundation for me is a huge thing. Picking the right foundation for dry skin, plus textured skin. At the same time, if you're acne prone, something that's gonna help with your acne, these are all really tough things to find. But I found that this foundation works the best when it comes to all of those problems. It's the Clinique Even Better Makeup. It has an SPF of 15 and it evens your skin out. It corrects all the dullness, all the redness. It just makes your skin look so beautiful. And the best thing about this is it still looks like your skin. Not that it doesn't have any coverage at all, but that it really looks like a smooth, soft, radiant, dewy kind of skin. Something that we all out there who are looking at this video don't have. <laughs> Naturally, we don't have it, and that's why we have to do all these steps. So this is an amazing foundation, especially for the daytime, with it having SPF 15, with it making your skin super radiant, and you're not gonna be able to see the coverage. You know when you have a full coverage foundation, you can see some texture, you can see that thick cakiness, this is not that at all. I'm gonna just put this on now because I'm talking about it so much. I am in the shade Golden Neutral. This is WN46. So it has this little tube right here, so it's less messy everywhere. You don't need much, but I like to have fun with it. There, bam. So now I'm just going to work it in with my beauty blender and you're gonna see that my skin is gonna look so good. The cool thing is that this is actually helping your skin as you're putting it on. It's not affecting it in a negative way. It's actually helping to erase those dark spots. There's 56 shades of this foundation, which is insane. There's so many different shades and there's 26 new shades. You're bound to find your exact shade. It still looks like my skin. It doesn't look like a thick, matte layer of foundation. So now that my skin is nice and smooth, I'm gonna go in with concealer. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put brows on really quick. So I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, so we're back with our brows and I am going to now conceal my face. For concealer, you wanna use something that is, of course, hydrating, something with hyaluronic acid to make your skin look plump and smooth and youthful. And that is going to be the Jouer Essential high coverage liquid concealer. This one is the shade Toast. When you put this on your skin, it feels so cushiony. It's gonna brighten with it. And always use a beauty blender. Never use a brush and buff in your skin. Don't do that if you have dry skin. It's the worst thing you can do. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get into contouring the face. For contour, I would advise you not to use a powder. I know you're probably like, what? But if you have dry skin, it's better to use a cream. This one is better than powder because powder can make you look just a little cakey. And especially if we're dry and textured, we don't wanna look more powdery and dry. So I'm just gonna do this to my face really quick just to get a really nice shape. At this point, you're really sculpted, you're brightened, but if you feel like you need to go back and brighten a little bit more, you can with a concealer, but you don't wanna not set your makeup at all. So what I like to do is I take a setting powder and I use a tiny, tiny bit of setting powder. Just put on a little bit on your damp beauty blender and then go over your under eyes and just the center of your face in general, just a little bit in the center so that you don't look like a oily mess. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the face. And for that, I'm gonna use the KKW Contour Palette. I like the color, but I also like the formula for our type of skin because it is a very soft, fine formula. It's not thick and chalky. So I'm just gonna take this big fluffy brush, take some of that product in the KKW Palette, even mix in a little bit of this just for Color and just pat it into the skin. I mean, you can sweep it back a little bit, but I would pat it. And I'm saying pat just because I don't know if some of you guys out there are intensely dry and flaky. So I'm saying pat 
pat everything. I'm gonna put on a highlight from the KKW palette as well. Okay. And also you don't wanna put your highlight right on top of your texture. You wanna put it right on the nice smooth spots. So you can still highlight, you just gotta be very careful and strategic in the way that you highlight your face. I'm gonna just do my nose really quick, like right in here and a cupid's bow. And then for the cheeks, I'm just gonna take a small amount. You can see that this area is smooth. So I just take a little bit because her highlight is actually freaking blinding. And just work it in that little tiny area. So whenever you move your cheek, you can see you have a nice highlight, a nice lifted look. I'm just gonna do my eye makeup in my lips really quick and then I'll be right back to show you how to set your face and make it look even more flawless. You can be done. I'm just kidding. All right, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup. I just did a very light beat today. I used my berries and cream palette. Soft and sweet is everything. I used this all in the crease, the lower lash line, and I also used a little bit of chocolate mousse, just like a tiny bit on the outer corners. For the lips, I just did like a pink with a nude gloss and we're good to go. So something that's gonna help your makeup last long and keep your skin dewy and radiant is going to be this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Once you set this on your face, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere and your face is gonna look so naturally glowing. It's insane. Like I'm obsessed with this setting spray. So I'm just gonna set my face really quick. Once everything is set into place, you're ready for the day. Your makeup is not going to budge. At the same time, your skin is hydrated, you look flawless, and like you don't even have dry skin who? Dry skin what? I don't even know what that looks like. That's your skin today. So this was the final step, setting the skin, and this is the final result. It's beautiful, even, no textured, undetectable coverage, super radiant, plump, dewy skin that's going to last you all day. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Also, if you have oily skin, redness, acne, let me know in the comments below because I used to be a freelance makeup artist before I did YouTube full time and I have so many tricks and tips for you guys. So if you want me to do more dedicated videos towards that, I totally can. So leave your skin type below. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to leave you guys on a special note and that is you are beautiful. Whether you have makeup off your face on your face, doesn't matter what it is. You are beautiful and I wanted to let you know that today. I love you guys so much. I have two other videos on that side. If you haven't seen those videos before, click them, check them out. They're pretty amazing. And that's pretty much it. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye dollies.